My name is Rubidium, and today we're looking at grading skin tones in DaVinci Resolve. We're going to check out three different uh, skin types. Uh, here we have Leah, India, and me. We're going to start with me because I probably have the worst skin, the other two are models, so that'll give you um, some comparison. And typically the lighter skin, the more imperfections show. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We have a single node where I, all I've done is take it from the C log 2 color space into a more Rec 709. What I'm going to do is add a second node by hitting Option S on the Mac. So if we zoom in on my skin, let's turn up the saturation so you can actually see what's going on. And we zoom in on my skin, say 200%. You can see that there are, there's the skin tone. And if you go down here to your vector scope and add the uh, two times zoom and the skin tone indicator, um, you'll get a better idea of what we're looking at. So we basically have the skin tone and then underneath we have yellows around the eyes, red in the nose and the lips. To get good skin, what we want to do is neutralize those imperfections and bring everything back to a, a, a cohesive, even tone and then adjust that tone. So what I'll start by doing is doing a skin qualifier. I'll click on my qualify here and just drag it across the skin. If I hit shift H, it'll show me just what's being qualified. And you end up with kind of a creepy Hannibal Lecter skin mask look. Then I'm gonna click on the plus dial, drag that across, add some more. And then finally, I'm gonna click on feather drag that through and add some more. So I'm getting almost all the skin and then I'm going to drag up my clean white value till I pretty much have everything. I'll go back to fit. You see, I've got just the skin. I've got these lights as well because they're the same color. There's no real way around that um, except to add a mask as well if I really needed to. Uh, then you'd have to track this if it moved, but luckily talking on YouTube, I just stay there the whole time. So now I can hit Shift H again and anything I do to the skin will now, anything I do in this node will only happen to that skin tone. So what I want to do at my 200% view is go in to my curves and go across to hue versus hue. And then what I'll do first is kind of click on that yellow around the eye. Now. You can see here in the hue versus hue, this is where the, the peaks represent how much information on that particular color value there is. Obviously there's quite a lot of red yellow, which is our skin tone, but you see our hue here has gone into the side of that. If I drag this up or down, you'll see it's really greening everything up. It's purpling everything up. But if I go just a tiny bit up, what that does is takes the, takes the things that aren't quite skin tone and makes them skin tone. Can do it again with the red of the lips and again drag it up or down this one's down a little bit so you can see if i go up it gets more purple if i come just under the line it gets more skin tone and if i want to do i can hit command d to see a preview of what's going on what it, the main thing you're seeing is the increased saturation but I, it's great to turn your saturation up as high as it'll go, even up to 100, to see that you're getting the right skin tone and you're getting um, rid of all those imperfections. Now I'll go across to my MD, which is my mid-tone density. Go into our 200% again. Basically, this adds contrast to the skin. So what I can do is turn it up to get more contrast and kind of make it a little tougher, a little more aged, turn it down to um, eliminate imperfections. And because again, we're working just in the skin and I'm hitting Command D to, to uh, turn this node on and off, I can see what it's doing. So for men, you usually turn this up. For women, you'd usually turn this down. I'm gonna just, um, because I'm gonna be grading to other faces, I'm gonna just, just turn this a fraction up. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty good. Again, I'll turn my saturation down a little bit more so I'm not too orange. Essentially, it's taken the imperfections. It's taken the yellows with our little curves here. It's taken the yellows and made them more orange. It's taken the reds and made them more orange and just evened that skin tone out. 
Now, as I go about grading my background, um, I want to preserve this um, skin node. I want to be able to grade the rest of the shot without interfering with the skin tones that I've done. So I'm going to hit Command S to save it. I'm going to hit Option S to add another layer. And then I'm going to hit Option L to transform that layer into a layer mixer node. Then I'm going to drag my alpha, that little blue circle, down to the little blue triangle of this bottom one. You can see what's happening now is the skin tone has been graded in this node. It's passing that over to the layer mixer node and then passing that into the mixer. So now if anything I do in this bottom node, like say I could cool this down, is not affecting my skin tones. You can warm up or cool down and my skin tones are being protected from it. You see my lips are changing color because uh, we qualified it without that um, without because we didn't want to mess up. We don't want to make the lips orange as well. The longer you look at it, the more the um, saturation looks crazy. Just dropping that down a little bit further. And that's, you know, that's a really good intro into grading skin tones in Resolve. Let's say how it looks with other skin tones. Let's try it on um, Leah now. Shift S to add a second node. Go across and we will qualify her skin. Shift H to see it. Add my plus. Come in here. Oop, too far. Feather it a little and clean. do my clean white. He's a little more in these areas here. We're going to get the hair as well, and it's OK, but we're not getting the lips, which is good. This is much more difficult because you see the red background is in that same space as the skin. But I think we've got something that we like now. I'll just do the minus feather and get rid of the background. So take off our Shift H. Again, we're going to increase our saturation to see what we're working with. And you can see she has such great skin that there's not really much we need to do to it. Even with 95% saturation, there really aren't that many perceived imperfections. But we'll do it anyway. We'll go into our um, curves. We're on the right node. Go over to hue versus hue. We'll select the color of her lips and then just drag that red down a little bit. You can see if I go up, it's purple. This is the color that it's dealing with. Just under the line to even it out. I can see what I'm doing now. Now with our midtone detail, we can take this much further down, down to minus 40. You can see without our turn our saturation, double click our saturation to reset it to zero and see what we're doing is it really is smoothing out all those imperfections. But to avoid making it too, um, too blunt, we can even increase this to say minus 50 and then we'll go ahead and in the radius we'll sharpen it. So we're, we're getting rid of the contrast and then sharpening the skin so the skin doesn't look too dead. You see now it really is giving us a nice, a nice even skin grade. I'm always checking to see if I hit Shift H here uh, and just get the, get the skin isolated, you'll see this is the skin tone line. Shift H to get rid of our solo. There you can also click on this guy here to highlight whatever is in the, the node that we have. Go back to 100%. Shift S for a second node. Sorry, Option S for a second node. Option L to turn it into a mixer node. And pull our alpha across to the bottom. I could uh, do anything I want to this bottom node. Less, less saturation, say, or less color boost. Color boost is different than saturation in that it boosts the midtones rather than saturation, which boosts everything universally. I can change my hue, give it a purple background, and because my skin tones are protected, I'm able to go around that. So let's go to our last shot, which is India. Again, we're just in a Rec 709 color space from our C-Log 2. This is a little different. What I'm going to do first is because she's backlit, I'm going to just add a node here, highlight her face, and just Go back to our normal custom curves. I'm just going to boost the level on it so that we can see what we're doing. 
So that's going to be our second node. Now in our third node, this is where uh, we're going to qualify the skin again. Um, make sure we're on the right selection range. Drag this across, turn to Apple H, sorry, sh uh, Shift H for highlight. That was pretty good right out of the box. We'll feather it a little so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't just clip off and then we'll clean up our white. Now let's add saturation. And you can see there are, go up to 200%. Again, you have those, those purples and those yellows. So let's um, homogenize the color of her skin. Let's get the yellowish area, pull that up. Let's get the red area, pull that down. More saturation so we see what we're doing and then let's take this generally um, and we can play with our temperature make it a little bit more orange or a little cooler let's make it a little more orange warm it up a little so this looks crazy but it's only because where our saturation is set so high so we can see what we're doing once we double click to reset our saturation it starts to look really great so let's Go over to our midtone detail and really, again, we'll go to 200% so we can see what we're doing. Increase or decrease. You know, increasing takes out all those little imperfections. And then I'll compensate by adding some sharpness. It doesn't look like, uh, you know, there's just a big unblurry spot in the middle of our shot. So by tapping this on and off, you can see what I've done. I've increased the saturation, I've um, made it much more homogenous. So now we add to, uh, to be able to get our skin separate from our grade, we hit option S, we hit uh, option L to turn it to layer mixer. Rearrange these so they're just a little easy to see. Drag my alpha down, see that it's connecting. And now I can increase the contrast in the background. I can decrease the saturation if I want. You know, so now she really stands out. I'll play it through. See that it's tracking. And we're getting great, even um, bright skin tones without affecting the blue of her eyes, the green of her shirt. So that is grading skin tones of different values in DaVinci Resolve and how to get a nice separate channel uh, where you can increase your contrast, decrease your midtone detail, and basically uh, clean up those sub colors of the skin and bring everything together to make it look even and beautiful. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.